The first day I met Franco, I saw him dance. I was in grade 8. Frank and I were friends at school, so we've been together since grade 8. We became close in the second week of grade 8. That's when we really drowned. When I saw him come on stage, I was like, yo, I told him to come on the dance. When he was in grade 4, danced for a company called Out of Africa. He was the reason that I met a lot of other friends through the street stylist journey. So I met Kasim through the journey. The people I know was because of him. He was the link for me to meet certain people. Frank was a tiny guy, he was a tiny boy. He's like the smallest person. <laughs> He's very small, but yeah, the biggest are. All the girls in Cape Town knew that boy. All the boys in Cape Town knew that boy. Why? He was with the girl. <laughs> and a lot of the older girls that I was spending time with and I had friends, their line was, um, just wait till you get older. That's what they used to say. <laughs> we actually weren't friends at first. We hated each other for like a solid three years. And if you want to argue with him, he just laugh at you. <laughs> Come, bro. Oh, Franco and I really argued like all the time. <laughs> Don't shout at Franco. Don't shout at Franco. I was like, I was gonna swear. <laughs> such an irritating job. Like, I loved you. <laughs> like, he was such a mommy's boy. Like, he loved his mommy so much and he would always talk about her. Franco had that type of relationship with his mother, where his friends were his family. Mommy, they're my brothers. I know for a fact that we'll all continue that relationship with Auntie Natasha. Franco was away for two months, so he was in Namibia. He was home basically for a week. Um, so that whole week he was doing his thing, you know, as normal. And we came to his mom's house. His mom didn't expect him to be his mom. was like shocked, like, Franco, Franco, what are you doing here? He was like, Owens, don't tell mommy I'm coming. We're gonna wrap it up tonight. I'll see you later. I was probably like the one person that he didn't get to see. He was asking how I am, where I am, because he wanted to meet up. Yeah, I went to his house, he got done. Must have been about half past nine, it's quarter to ten, somewhere around there. But I heard that they were going out because they asked if I wanted to go, and I said no, I didn't want to. And then they then decided that they're going to go to a club in town called Reset. We got to Reset, and three, two boys walked past. I, like, I looked at his friend Ethan, and you would never think that this boy would have a gun on him. They thought that it wasn't a gun. Like, they didn't think it was a real gun. They were like, oh, it's just a gas gun. It's like nothing. But, yeah, it was a real gun. As Frank and Icky went, I saw Frank fall. And I remember waking up to the news. The morning I woke up, I saw that I had my school on my phone and stuff. And my friends actually came to knock me awake. They were banging on the window. I woke up, asked what's happening, and the more they tried to tell me the story, the more it doesn't make sense in my head. This is the stuff you see in movies, like trying to bring your friend back. Frank has been shot, not thinking that this child's never gonna come out of the hospital. I was like, no man, you're lying to me. Why? I'm thinking, where could he have been? Who could have shot him? Who would have killed him? What, what's happening? Like Firstly, Frank was small. Frank was, can't hurt anybody. Like, he really can't. That that could not have been in self-defense. If you look at him, how are you going to feel threatened towards him? You can't. How they got to that point, I can't understand. Uh, and why. And how um, he felt the need to take out a gun and shoot someone. You must really, really feel at your worst that I need to kill this person who is threatening me, otherwise I'm going to die. The legal system has to do their part. And I feel like they are failing us. I want justice for my friend. Is there really justice in our country? Is there really justice where we live? Where does that leave us as people? What's your feeling on the whole thing? Like, this dude who, who shot Franco and the case and what would you want to see happen? Why, bro? Why? What if that was your best bruh? You'd feel what I'm feeling. I'm hurting, bro. I, I'm so hurting. I haven't recovered. Our friend was taken away from us at a young age, and we were all looking forward to spending many more years with Franco. Understand the depth of the pain that we're feeling. I'm sorry that that happened to you, bro. I'm sorry. He wanted, he wanted to do something with his life.